A lot of you guys have been asking me to do more oil perfume videos since I've done the one that was everything you need to know about fragrance oils. A lot of you guys have shown an interest and want to know more. So in my little Dior bag here, I have a whole bunch of fragrance oils. I have a fragrance oil haul and these are all from Oil Perfumery. They have come out with a whole bunch of new releases, super exciting and they have more new releases coming. One that I just saw launched that I'm super excited to get my hands on. It's not part of this haul, but will be in a next haul. Yukon and Burmese, stop it. So I'm gonna share with you guys all of my new perfume oils. I'm gonna let you guys know which new ones are coming out. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. And if you guys are new here and just getting to know me, then welcome. This is The Scented. My name is Yana. We talk about all things fragrance. So if that's a passion of yours, then make sure that you hit that big red button and the notification bell so you guys never miss a video and become a friend of the show and we'll do fun fragrance things together. So let's get into my fragrance oil haul. So the first one I have here is a dupe of Chanel Chance. This is their new labels. They have this nice round label now. I have to tell you guys, when I tried this, I fell in love with it and I immediately went and bought myself a bottle of Chanel Chance Eau de Toilette. This is a really classic, beautiful Chanel fragrance it's a woody patchouli, it has fruits. I think that this is the dupe of the Eau de Toilette because it's a little bit more fruity. It's got pineapple in there, some pink pepper. It's a really classy, elegant fragrance and it smells very rich. It smells very wealthy and simplistic, but like very elegant. So I really love it and we are gonna move along. By the way, if you guys are new to the world of fragrance oils, my favorite brand that I work with is Oil Perfumery. I absolutely love them. They do the best dupes. They have a huge selection. They have a lot of fragrance oils that are like dupes of really rare, hard to find fragrances that you wouldn't come about like normally in, in stores. You'd have to like really search them out in specialized boutiques. So that's something that I really like them for. I like their packaging. And if you guys do wanna check them out, I have a promo code to share with you guys and it's Yana15 and it'll get you 15% off your order. And let's move along to the next one. And the next one is Rouge Trafalgar. Rouge Trafalgar from Dior. This is from their private collection. This one to me smells like berries and pine. And I have a little mini bottle of the Dior Rouge Trafalgar that I got with my purchase of a full size bottle of the Dior Privé collection. I got a little mini and this, you guys, is 100% identical. It is spot on. There is not technically a pine note. There's grapefruit, black currant, various other berries. I don't quite remember. But to me, it smells like a crisp, like not sweet, fresh berry, like a tart berry. Think of a tart raspberry and pine like pine tree so it kind of smells very fresh and almost Christmassy but not in the way that you would think of like spices and Christmas this is more like Christmas tree like like Christmas tree smell with berries and I love it and I really want to get a full bottle of Rouge Trafalgar from the Dior private collection but for now I have the oil to hold me over and that's the great thing with oils is you can enjoy the fragrance before you can afford to buy a full bottle. So that's what I like them for. I get to test out a fragrance, make sure that I truly enjoy it. It's a great, like long lasting option. And it makes me decide whether or not I get a full bottle. A lot of the times I do, some of the times I don't. So it's a really great way to help me decide. This next one is from Zerzhoff and it's called Starlight. I can't really tell, so I have to apply it on a paper. This smells very spicy to me. It smells very, very spicy like clove, like cinnamon clove, maybe like nutmeg or cardamom, like a whole bunch of yummy spices. I get a lot of clove with this one. This one, honestly, I don't know if I'm a fan of, but that's because I'm very picky with spicy fragrances. It's a nice fragrance, but it's a very spicy one. So if you're a spicy lover, then Zerzhoff Starlight is a great one. Well, the oil dupe, as far as I know, because I haven't tried the original. But it does like vaguely remind me of a smoother, like less loud Kenzo Jungle L'Elephant, which is a bright, like bold, bold fragrance. Not bright, 
just bold. This one is like a creamier, subdued version of that. So if you like Kenzo Jungle Elephant, you want something more calmer, try Starlight. The next one here is 34 Boulevard Saint-Germain, and this is a dupe of a diptyque fragrance. Let's give it a roll. Ooh, this one has like a medicinal freshness to it. Like eucalyptus -y and spicy. Really interesting. This would smell really nice on a man. It's almost like fig and eucalyptus. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Really nice fragrance as well. So by the way, guys, I'm discovering these as I'm smelling them with you. There's only a few that I've actually tried on skin, like the Chanel Chance and the Rouge Trafalgar. But a lot of these I'm just discovering as I roll them on papers with you. Okay, the next one here, this one I've been really curious to try because I had tried a different oil dupe and this is Wild Strawberry and Parsley, which is like parsley in a fragrance and strawberry. That's kind of weird, but it's yummy. It's so good. It's fresh. It's like herbaceous, but not like in a food way. And yeah, I had a oil from like a different oil brand, but then I noticed oil perfumery had it. So I got it from there and I wore it and I actually had layered it with Dolce Gabbana L'Imperatrice and it was amazing. It was such a good fresh layering combo. This on its own is a little bit too herbaceous and L'Imperatrice is a little bit too like girly and immature smelling, but combined together, they do something really interesting. Like they really, they really level each other up. So yeah, that's a layering tip for you guys. And yeah, wild strawberry and parsley. Who would have thunk it? What a combination. The next one here is a Byredo dupe, and this is Lil Fleur. Lil Fleur is a newer fragrance from Byredo. It's a leather fragrance and a rose fragrance. I've been really curious to try this one. I did smell it before. And it's a really interesting. It is like fully rose and leather, but a little bit fruity and a little bit sweet. This is like, I would say this is like a really feminine leather. So I know that it's all marketed unisex, but I feel like if you were a woman that wanted to try a leather scent and you like a little bit sweet leaning, you enjoy like a bright rose scent. This is it. This is not like an old rose. This is a bright rose. So I really, really like this little fleur. I don't know if it would work for spring and summer, maybe for the spring for cooler nights, but I would probably wait until fall to try this one or on a cooler day if we have it still. But yeah, really good so far. Next one is from an Arabian brand and they just label it ASAQ. And this is Golden Tears. I thought that name was pretty cool. It smells very soapy to me. And it smells like something I've smelled before. Interesting, kind of like a soapy green fragrance. Not aldehydic, like it doesn't have this like sparkliness about it. But anyway, I don't know if I would wear it. I'm gonna try it and we'll see how it goes. The next one, I have been so excited for this one and this is a dupe of Fleur Narcotique from Ex Nihilo. I love this fragrance. I have a little mini sprayer of it and I've been using it so very sparingly because it's a, such an expensive fragrance. And now I have this dupe and I did wear this one. This one I did wear because I just, I couldn't, like I couldn't, I had ants in my pants. I couldn't control myself. I had to wear it. This is absolutely intoxicating. Like this fragrance, oh my God, it is one of my favorite fragrances. Like I, I am so pumped to have this. This is probably the one that I'm most excited for. It just makes me happy. It's a really interesting like peony scent. I don't even know exactly what gives it that special touch. It's like a, not a sweet peony. It's musky and like a little bit dry, like a little bit maybe like mossy. I know there's a note of moss in there. I'm not sure if it's oak moss. It doesn't really smell like oak moss, but it's like a dry, almost like a dry um, peony musk and just a little something magical in there that I don't know exactly what it is, but it does something special to my nose holes and I love it. So this one I would definitely recommend and that's Fleur Narcotique. Or if you guys can afford the Ex Nihilo fragrance, 100% go for that. If you can, for now, I can't. So oils will be the thing for me. But anyway, we're going to cut that part out. And the next one is Oud. This is a dupe of Maison Francis Kirk John 
Oud, just the oud, just not the oud satin mood or the oud silk mood, just oud. This is a really nice, like, masculine oud with patchouli, a little bit of saffron. It's not barnyardy at all. It's like a little bit medicinal, a little bit dry. I think it's so beautiful. I think this is such a gorgeous masculine scent. I think if you're just starting out in oud, this is the one to go for. I know that the original one, the oud from MFK, is quite pricey. So if you just wanted to try out oud, this is the way to go. I'm really sorry if you guys heard that barking. That was my dogs outside playing. It was just one of my dogs. He is a noisy player, so I had to bring them inside. And now they're drinking. Much, much, much later. Okay, I think I can carry on now. So the next one that I have here is, you know what, no, I'm gonna save this one for last. Paris meets Jakarta, and this is an original blend from Oil Perfumery. And this one, I had absolutely no clue what it would smell like because all it says is that there's fruity and floral notes and then woody and musky notes. So I think I'm just gonna roll it on my skin here. It is sweet and rosy. It's nice, it's really nice and kind of sexy and musky and like a sweet rose. It like low key reminds me of like Delina or Delina exclusive low-key but like maybe something along that vein that's just like first impression but it's a really nice scent so this is a really nice blend from them the next one i have is miss dior blooming bouquet i think we all know what that smells like it's a really pretty fresh scent i think there's rose and peony in here as well very uplifting really nice for the springtime a little bit basic i don't know honestly how much i would reach for this okay we're down to the last two that i have here so these are probably one of the more exciting ones one of them is cafe rose from tom ford i'm pretty sure this fragrance is discontinued correct me if i'm wrong this has like a dry rose with coffee and i was most excited to try it because it's another coffee rose fragrance and I seem to be enjoying coffee rose combination, so I thought, why not try this one? And it's like, it's the kind of rose that you would find in like Portrait of a Lady, and I know it's been compared to that before, but it's really beautiful. It's like very, very sexy. It's not sweet, it's dry. It's like a dry rose with coffee. It's actually very sexy and i think that it is feminine leaning so i will definitely be wearing this but i think it's more of a cooler weather scent so i will have to wait for it to cool down and the last one the last fragrance i have here is a dupe of atomic rose from initio this one i was super excited to try because i had a little sample of atomic rose i had worn it before and i liked it a lot and this one is actually a very sweet, like vanillic rose. Like if you put rose in vanilla syrup, it's like that. And it reminds me a lot of Delina Exclusive. It has that depth. It doesn't have the woodiness, but it is very, very similar. And I had actually worn the original Atomic Rose alongside with Delina Exclusive, like one on each, one on each wrist. And I found them extremely similar and I had asked people as well and they found them extremely similar. So this dupe of Atomic Rose, I think is very, very accurate. I really like, I like the Sweet Rose, but I have to be in the mood for it. So I actually don't know how often I would wear it. And I probably wouldn't purchase a full bottle of Atomic Rose, but I will occasionally enjoy the fragrance oil. The other one that I had was Wood Sage and Sea Salt, but I jumped on that one as soon as I had opened the package and I wore it, and I think I may have left it in my car or maybe at work because that one I've pretty much been dousing myself in from the moment that I got it. That little feller is my absolute favorite, so I just keep it with me everywhere I go. It may be in my bag, it may be in my car. Who knows at this point, I might just need to get a second one. But yeah, they came out with a Wood Sage and Sea Salt, newsflash and it's amazing and it's very accurate and I no longer have to pay $70 because I used to buy a fragrance oil that was $70 for like this little tiny guy. This one I think is actually more milliliters and way cheaper. So that's one. And another fragrance oil that they just came out with 
is their own blend and they did a, a blend of Aventus and Baccarat Rouge. So like the ultimate killer combo. That one is called the Two Kings and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to get my order in soon. So that one in the top has bergamot, melon, and pineapple. In the mid, it has patchouli and dry wood. And in the base, it has ambergris, vanilla, leather, and I think oak moss. That one sounds really exciting. Also, I had put in a special request with oil perfumery and I really hope that they come through for me. I asked them if they could release an oil of Gucci Envy because I absolutely love that fragrance and I miss it so much and I've been failing left and right to get my hands on a full bottle. They are just ridiculously expensive and so if they come through for me, that will just be the ultimate. So I hope you guys will then get to try one of my favorite fragrances of all time once they have the dupe and resurrect this like special, special gem. And that was my entire fragrance oil haul. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys check out some of their oil dupes. They really do make the best dupes. That's why I love them so much. Make sure to use my promo code Yana15. It'll get you 15% off your order. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.